the Lake Erie Smallmouth series. If you're new to the channel, what I've been doing is going through each one of these areas around the Western Basin so far, highlighting some good spots to catch smallmouth. Uh, I also go through what times to catch them, what baits to use, stuff like that. So we're pretty far into the series now, and today I'd like to cover Peely Island. I know this is a this is a pretty good hot spot for everybody. If you fish, if you launch from the southern shore, I'm sure most of you have either ran to Peely Island or if you're just interested in fishing Peely Island, this should be a good good guideline, good starting points for you to to check. Okay, let's get started on Let's start at Chickenoli Reef. It's the first one I've got. And what I did on this one was I, I looked at my graph and highlighted, looked at all my waypoints around, around this island, looked at my graph and picked out some of the, some of the key areas where I've caught nice fish at or, or seen them roam in, uh, good areas to start. So uh, let's start at Chickenoli Reef. Now this reef is very similar to fishing Gull Shoal or Kelly's Island Shoal. It's in close proximity. Some of these fish you're going to catch up here migrate back and forth, uh, just going past Middle Island, stuff like that. So when you're fishing, if you've seen my previous videos, so what I'm doing on this is I'm, this is a fairly shallow reef, so similar to Gull. So what I'm doing is I'm going to, comb these outside areas, idle around with my side scan, try to find isolated structure. And when I'm looking for isolated structure, I'm looking for isolated big structure, big boulders, stuff like that. Places for these fish to, to ambush their bait. So, and then also on this, on Chicken Oli Reef, I've caught fish in small round boulders i wouldn't even call them boulders maybe one foot rocks uh, if you can find an area like that and i know there's an area down here like that and i know there's an area over here like that so if you can find an area like that where these fish can just kind of comb across those rocks that can be a good area too but finding the fit finding the fish here first before you fish is is key if you're seeing bait balls and stuff, that, that's a good indicator. I would stop, put trolling motor down, and start fishing. Okay, let's move up to Mill Point. This is a pretty good area. So I've had good success here uh, after the after the closed season, just after the close or just after the season opens. After the closed season. Um, season's closed during a spawn in Canada. So on on Mill Point, I'm fishing this this area right here in June and July, and I'm fishing it just the same as Chickenoli Reef. I'm gonna comb around there, try to find fish, try to find structure, uh, stuff like that. You've heard me say it ten times now, but putting your time in is is key on this on this offshore stuff. If you just put your trolling motor down and go fishing, you, you probably have a bad day, to be honest, without looking for stuff. Um, uh, now, let's get specific on Mill Point. So, I had an experience this summer that was that showcases how, how much these fish move around and stuff like that. And they, they move, they might only move 200 yards. You might be 200 yards from a mega school and not even know it. So, I fished this area right here in 20 foot of water. This is the weekend after the opener. So what, first week of July, something like that. Found some fish here, came back the next day or two days later, I can't remember. Went straight to that spot, try to find some fish. I'm just fun fishing at this point, you know. Just, just trying to find some schools of fish around this area. 
I went straight to this spot, fished for a whole, thinking I was going to catch fish, fished for a whole hour, didn't catch anything. I think I caught a perch or something. Um, started moving down these contours down here, and I think I got down to like somewhere in here for my waypoints in 22 foot, and I found some of those rocks that I just described where they're like six inch to one inch rocks that are just flat, like a, like a flat bottom, but you can see the rocks on your structure scan. And I, I marked a fish on it, one fish, and I sat my trolling motor down there and caught 25 pounds. So it, I mean, that just shows you what, where these fish can go. Cause I, I mean, I beat them up there the day before and these fish had moved or a new school moved in. I don't know. So I came over here in 20, I was fishing 20 foot over here, came over here to 22 foot, caught a nice limit of fish, but you know, just fun fishing. They all went back. So, uh, that's a, just a little example of what, what you can expect trying to find these fish in a tournament situation or something like that. You got, you got to be able to move around and find what these fish want. Um, okay. Let's move up to middle point. So middle point, uh, th this can be just as good as, as middle point and this, this whole Eastern side really. So mi middle point on this, I, I have a lot of waypoints like in this area. So I'm fishing the saddle between these two humps. And this may not be exact the way this, let me make sure I'm on sonar chart. Yep. Okay. Th so this, this may not be exact how this is depicted. So you, you'll have to do some idling to find this, find this deep area in between these two underwater humps. I guess you could call them and it's showing rocks on here and stuff. And this is all rock. Really? This is, this is one big underwater point, but all my waypoints seem to be located close to this saddle in between these two points. So that would be a good area to start. Um, and I'm talking June, July time frame. Haven't really fished this point in August L late in the year. I fish more, a little more North. But that would be a good starting point right there. Okay, let's move up to Lizard. Yeah, Lizard Point. So this, this is a real popular area. You'll, you'll see a lot of people fishing the end of these underwater points and stuff like that for good reason. It, it's good fishing. You can catch fish there after the season opens July and August. You, you'll see boats during a tournament. You'll see boats crowded up around here. Um, and these fish are moving between Middle Ground and, and Lizard Point. And sometimes you'll catch them out here, too. There, there's some isolated structure out here. I'll go over that in just a second when I move over to Middle Ground. But Lizard Point can be real good. Let me see. What, what do I have on my note? Um... Okay, so, yeah, I had a note on one of my waypoints that I idled, you know, it said idle and fi find the point, basically. So, when I'm idling, I'm coming across these, trying to find where it goes up, then back down. So, I'm going to fish the top, and I'm going to fish the sides at the end of all three of these points. This one, this one, and this one. That's where I had all my waypoints at. They were basically right around here in the, you know, the 20 to 25 foot contours way out here so um and in in august september those those later months where it's where it's hot and dry and you know there's no wind stuff like that these are the places that i'm fishing look not necessarily fishing that's where i'm looking for fish if i find fish obviously i'm gonna fish so let's move over to middle ground while we're while we're right here now, now this is probably the most popular area. There's, there's a lot of people that fish around here. A lot of people that have waypoints stuff off this, uh, place. There's, there's a helicopter pad right here. They call it 
on here they call it the Pe Peely Passage Light. But on Google Maps, you, you can see what it looks like. And you've probably seen pictures of people holding fish next next to this thing. Um, they're pretty popular with the charter captains. Um, people that fish tournaments will fish this area. This area does take some... If, if you're going up here for the first time, but there's there's a lot there's a lot to see underwater around here. I've I've had good most of my success around here is you can drift and catch fish, but most of my success is live scoping fish around here. There's there's some barren wasteland out here that where these fish kind of roam in between these rocky areas and that's where I've caught my fish is out of the sand. You know, maybe a boulder here and there, but that's where I've caught my fish. So that that's a good area. I mean, if you're talking to your buddies or something, you mention middle ground, and they, they you know, they're gonna know exactly what you're talking about. If you, if you guys are are fishing Canada, that's one of the hot spots. So, and I'm I'm fishing it. You can fish this place. You know, outside of the spawn, you can fish this place all year. Really find some some size of school of fish may not be big ones one day and big ones the next kind of kind of wild that place so the next place i want to cover is north bay north bay this is a big spawning area so you're you're gonna get you're gonna get your when the season opens these post spawners some of them might be still up shallow in here, you know, because this water is a lot colder than this water down here. So they, by the time they move off the bed on South Bass or Kelly's, they may still be up. They may still be up roaming up in here, and you'll see you'll see a lot of guys in here in North Bay. Uh, shortly, you know, as soon as the season opens, you you can throw a jerk bait, a uh, dark colored chatter bait jig you you can catch them on anything in here right right after the spawn and you can catch you can catch some nice fish yes uh you can you can sight fish them in north bay and and find those you can find those roaming fish you can you can see them all right let's move over to sheridan point uh sheridan point there i had two waypoints on sheridan point um and they were both way out here. So if you're up that way, check it out. You'll see those contours. If you run Navionics, you'll see those contours. My waypoints were like out here somewhere. Like maybe right there and right there from the graph when I looked at my graph. So a couple spots, a couple good spots to try there. And I know I've caught fish. I wouldn't have marked it otherwise. I usually label them as as fish or you know found a school of fish or something like that. So okay, now this this western this western shore I'm going to run through this pretty quick because it's it's cookie cutter. So you've got it's kind of like fishing the north shore up here. See how it's just it's a big rocky shore, right? So on this west on this west side at, after the spawn, I'm going to cruise, side scan, side scan, side scan, try to find some fish. Um, now, you can run you can run shallow baits up through here right after the, I mean, I'm talking like opening weekend or the weekend after opening weekend. You can run shallow baits and probably wear them out right through here. But I'm looking for, I'm looking for those big fish that have already moved out or started to move out. So I'm going to run out here in 15 to 20, side scan, try to find some isolated structure, try to mark fish, put the live scope down, try to see fish. Um, and I'm idling this, this entire thing, basically. When I'm, when I'm looking for those fish post-spawn, if I'm getting ready for a tournament or something, I'm idling this entire shore. Um, and shortly after the spawn, I've had some success. You can, you can cast, if you're a shallow fisherman, you can cast this dock. Um, and there's also some fish structure right down here. Yeah, there it is. So there's a few rock piles or something. I think they have them. 
thought they had them marked on here. Kind of like, kind of like the East Harbor Beach. They have some rock piles out here, wave breaks or something. I don't know what the heck they are. But anyway, they hold some fish, and right, soon as shortly after the season opens, you can catch some fish off of that. I do want to go over uh, Mosquito Bay. This can be a good area right here, po right after post spawn. Uh, June, July time frame. You can catch some nice fish in here. Uh, presumably because they spawn up in here. Shortly after the spawn, they, they move out here. Uh, one spot that I do want to highlight here where I've caught some super nice fish. Yep, that's it. Right out here. I had a waypoint marked somewhere right here. So if you see this little nipple here on your Navionics, I'd off the end of this and see if there's fish there. I know I've caught fish more than once in this spot right here. And that's been late summer. I want to say it was August, September, some time frame. But Sheridan Point um, went over the western side. Oh, one note on the western side is 19 to 25 foot. So in July and August, I'm fishing 19 to 25 foot there. You, you can probably find them deeper if you can find structure in 30 foot, something like that. Um, I haven't. That's, that's super tough to try to find them deep like that. You need to really put in a lot of hours to find them like that. But doesn't mean they aren't out there. Okay, I think that's it for Peely Island. I will catch you guys on the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks.